Yo, what's good? It's your boy Candyman in the building. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all listening to the Candy Shop and y'all watching on Candyman TV. Make sure you go like, share, subscribe. Today I have another legendary podcast. I told y'all I was going to have the special guest. I told y'all I was going to have him. You know what I'm saying? It's my girl, Deja, entrepreneur, businesswoman, you know what I'm saying? Self-made, 23-year-old entrepreneur from Canton, Ohio. How you doing? Good, how are you? Bless, man. I'm, I'm glad to be here. How you doing? I mean, I just asked you that. I'm just so excited right now because you, you know what I'm saying? You making big moves, making big things happen. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm working. Yeah, so uh, do you, you, you said you had a bit, you, you got a business in Canton, right? Yeah. Where's it located at? Um, 520 Walnut Avenue, Northeast. It's downtown. Um, inside of the building. Okay, yeah, y'all go check that out, man. Locals, y'all see, she she got the business. She got two businesses. She got two businesses running. Tell us a little bit about them. Um, so I have a club called No Art by Day Job. It's more of like a streetwear line. Um, it has my logo on it. Um, that's for women. And then I have Deja Vu Boutique, which is just a regular women's boutique, and it has all types of clothes in it. I'm on summer now, so you got like shorts, dresses, um, two-piece sets, and things like that. Okay, you see, you see, y'all see right on Instagram. Make sure you go follow her. You know what I'm saying, got the, got everything, got it. and she, she even model her own clothing. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got to pay y'all. She ain't got to pay y'all. She got her, she do her own thing. She don't need y'all. Ooh we. How, so how long you been? How long you been in the in, in this business? Like, what made you even want to start doing this? Well, I say I always like. I've always been the one to like dress. Like my main reason to go in the school was to dress up for the day and i've always like reconstructed clothes like if somebody a shirt cut up or bleached or something like that like always the one that did it. or like adding fur and stuff on heels in high school and then i say i graduated school and like a year later i started my clothing line Asia, but at that point it was just t-shirts so I was just printing stuff like selling them so that was going good then I started doing more things like sweats and stuff and then just recently like last year I started my boutique just so I have something to do but it turned well so I guess it's my next business Okay, so you, you know what I'm saying? Got the little spot, you got the little spot for the clothing line, got your website set up, got everything. You know, it seems like you got everything set and you got a plan, you know? And uh, it, it's really good that you, got, that you got a plan and that is structured so that way you'll be able to have the ability to move forward. Right. That's great. What you, um, so you're from Ken, right? Yeah. Okay. You trying to make it out, you feel me? Definitely trying to make it out real soon. Big facts. What's uh what it, so tell us about your tell us about more about yourself. Like what type of what like who who really inspired you? Is there anybody who inspired you to start your clothing line too? Mm, no. I feel like <laughs> at this point, everything is about me. Like everything always been about me. Like no matter how that sounds like it's always been about me. Like I always like clothes, I always like dressing up. I've always been like into with, with the latest style and things like that. So it's just me and my research, like seeing what everybody's wearing or just putting out what I think somebody would, what I would wear, seeing who would buy it. Like nobody's really inspired me, like everything what I would do. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you feel me? Right. Where, um, so you got, you, you, uh, what are your goals in like five to 10 years? Do you have any five to 10 year goals? Or are you just in the moment right now and just 
watching and make waiting until something happened? Um, I would say I'm living in the moment, like going with the flow. <laughs> I'm going with the flow. Of course, I want to move out of here and see how far I can get with my boutique. But at this point, I like what I do. So this is what I would want to do, like if any. But I'm sure I'd start like other businesses, but I'm sure they'll all be like in bad. There's not really anything else I'm interested in. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you you got a passion, something that right. you like to do, and you get money doing it, yeah. and, it's, and, it's, and you comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Like you comfortable, you can't beat that. Right. You can't beat that because it. And I know it takes a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot of work. I'm not sure what. What are some of the hardest things that you have to deal with in your in, in the industry that you're in? Like, I love it. I don't complain about it. But people are very hard to deal with. Like, when people, like, find out about something, like, they want everything to be about them. Fine, because I'm like, but just, I don't know. It's just a, it's a people thing. Like, people will push themselves on, like, maybe to make you release what they want to wear or or they just have a whole bunch of requests on what you should do and things like that. Like, I'm I'm doing my thing. Like, it's, it came this far. But like, I, I'm listening to all opinions, all requests, but it's ultimately, like, what I want to do. But that's the hardest thing, just the people. <laughs> that's crazy. That is true, though, because some people can be rude for no reason. And people are rude, but that's just something you got to do. Like, business, that's business. Business is business. So, have you been, have you ever, have you ever collabed with anybody? Is there anybody particular, or do you just, have you just ever done everything for yourself? Um, no, I haven't done it. Collabs yet? Everything pretty much me. Um, I would like that with some point in time, but it gotta be something I really like. Like I making things, throwing them out there, just so we can have something together. Like it has to be really thought out. Okay. You has has anybody reached out to you about like? Um about other places or like other stores, any other locations? Um, no, I'm, I talked to this girl in it to see if she wanted to like start something together. You said I, Atlanta? I'm sorry, you said Atlanta? Yeah. Okay, cause uh, I don't mean to interrupt you, but like the some, like sometimes uh, some of the words been blurted out. But like you, oh. yeah, I, I, and when you said Atlanta, it, um, it blurted it out. Can you hear now? Yep, I can hear you. Okay. Um, no, I have like brand ambassadors too. Like in other places, I would send them clothes to see if that would start anything. But no, I have had anybody really reach out yet about anything. So, only time, only time. Right. And I see, like, I've seen on your Instagram. Let's go back on that. Let me show you a little bit on Instagram real quick. You see right here, four bands on the followers. Y'all make sure, you know what I'm saying? Y'all check her, you know what I'm saying? Y'all check, check her out. Y'all see the name. So, what's the best, like, what's the best part about what you do besides what you like what you uh besides like how you how much you love it and and you know you really have your own freedom what's the what's like one of the best things about your job like what what makes you most driven about it mm. it's crazy because you asked what the hardest part is and i would say that people again would be <laughs> the best like seeing people come in my store and actually shop like they'll bring other people 
who I don't know, but like meeting new people who support me, I think that the best. Like people who don't know me and they come in to shop and like they become like regular customers. That's the best. Sorry, I have a little malfunction over here. But yeah, that's that's real good, man. Like I'm I'm glad to see like it it I, I like see that's why I wanted to start doing this, like start interviewing people, like different entrepreneurs and see seeing different people because people like you inspire me, you know what I'm saying? And I want other people to be inspired, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially cause what, you're 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 only twenty three, you got basically you basically got two businesses. You soon, soon you about to be traveling everywhere because you already, you, you already got everything ahead. You know what I'm saying? You like, you already got everything straightened out, and that's a, that's a real good thing. Like that's, a, that's a real good inspiration, especially to black women. Like you, like you're a real true inspiration, like to, to black queens. Like no cap. Right. Definitely. So like, you got any shout outs? Anybody you want to? You know what I'm saying? Get to the podcast world. Any, any shout outs or anything? I would say shout out to everybody who has a business because the shit is hard. So <laughs> if you have a business, you keeping it going, you doing what you need to do to get further. Like shout out because I know exactly what you're going through, how it feels. So shout out to all the people with the businesses. Um, Shout out to my friends for helping me get where I need to be, helping me just stay afloat, even when, like, I do have doubts. Shout out to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask you something. Did it? Did you... Did you get... Uh, every? Well, obviously, you know, when the pandemic happened, Everybody got affected somehow, some way. Like, were was there any like a big challenge that happened for you during the pandemic? I feel like the pandemic was the best thing for business owners. Like, everybody had to stay in the house. Nobody had nothing to do but search the web and buy stuff. Like that's all people had to do. So I feel like the pandemic was the best for everybody. You just had time to sit and think about your next move, what you wanted to do, and stand on it. Like it happened. So no, I think there effect. If anything, everything got better in the pandemic. Yeah, that is true. Cause they was they was handing out money. They was him though. <laughs> I got mine a little bit late, but I still got it though. You feel me? I was who? I was. I ain't even gonna lie. That came through. Yeah. Real talk, man. I'm so. I'm. I'm glad you look. I'm so glad that you did. You. You gave me a chance to have you on my show. This no, legendary. Yeah, this is a. I'm telling you, like this is a legendary moment right now. This is a legendary <laughs> moment. For, for some folks, it's like man, you ain't no legendary moment. What? <laughs> You heard, you know, you heard in the 49, 50 countries, you know what I'm saying, worldwide. I hope and pray somebody, some, I hope and pray that somebody contact you and be like, hey, I heard you on the podcast, you know, check you out. It's going to happen, though. In due time, in due time. I'm just glad. I was a little bit nervous. I ain't even going to lie. I was a little bit nervous. That's why I was stuttering. I had them pauses because I'm not used to interviewing people, but it's a step, you know what I'm saying? It's just a step. It's a step for all of us, and I'm I'm just glad, and I'm really excited. I'm just really excited that you that you get took the time out your day to you know come on the show, and I and like that really means a lot to me. Like for real, like real talk. We all gotta help each other. Oh yeah, man. All right, y'all. This is Deja, man. Go make sure y'all go follow her on. I'm gonna do it one more time. You know what I'm saying? Tell up to what what's your Instagrams again? Um, Noir by Deja. In Deja Vu Boutique, but they all in my bio on my regular Instagram, Deja Noir. Y'all see that? And she got the 4K followers, so you know hers is popping, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it was good to have you, and I do. We're going to have that spinoff. We're going to have that spinoff when I'm back in town. We're going to have that spinoff. 
Thank you for having me. Oh yeah, no problem.